What is up? Robo here. Thanks for joining. And today's topic is, yes, dry fire, but very much more specifically, the brand new Mantis Blackbeard X. Now, this isn't the Blackbeard X that you can get for your AR-15. Don't get me wrong, I love my AR-15s. Uh, but this is specifically a brand new uh, version of the Blackbeard X for this bad boy the uh, six hour MCX. I'll go over the Blackbeard X, like how it works, how to install it, all that fun jazz. But then I'll also give you my thoughts or uh, philosophies on why I absolutely believe it's mandatory to implement tools like what Mantis provides uh, or produces uh, in your dry fire training. Uh, and then I'll give you maybe some ideas of cool things to do with it uh, to sort of expand your training or dry fire uh, sort of regimen. Give you some examples of how myself and WGT Consulting use it within our team and individual atmospheres. So with all that long-winded stuff taken care of, uh, let's go have a quick chat about all this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Blackbeard X system from Mantis. Now, yes, this is the very specific uh, version for the MCX, uh, and that's because they just released it. They had previously released a, a version of this for uh, the AR-15. And I guess before I go into full detail about what the Mantis uh, Blackbeard X is uh, and how it works, all that fun stuff, kind of got to tell you a little bit about Mantis if you don't already know. So they've been around for... I don't know, a better part of more than half a decade now, five, six, seven years in around that timeline. Uh, and what they brought out to market was called the uh, Mantis X. Uh, it would attach to any Picatinny uh, style rail. Okay, so you can go on a rifle and go on a, on a pistol. And at its heart, it's just a gyrometer. Okay, so it tracks all the motion data through different steps in your uh, dry fire. And then it sends all that data to an app on your phone via Bluetooth. Essentially that app, which I'll go into in more detail, shows you statistical uh, information about that specific press and then et cetera, right? The second iteration of that was this much smaller version called the X10. So why Blackbeard X? Well, let's consider dry firing in general. Uh, and I'm just gonna use a pistol here just for posterity's sake, no magazine in the firearm and uh, there's nothing in the chamber, okay, just for safety's sake here. Here's where the Blackbeard X sort of comes to be, okay? Here's the thing, without a live round, right, obviously, the action can't cycle in something that's a semi-automatic, right? So that applies to AR-15s or that MCX back there, uh, and of course to this pistol. So I press the trigger in my dry fire, right? And then what we all know is that we gotta reset the action, and then we can fire again. The Blackbeard, tries to solve uh, that problem. So ultimately, what are these two pieces doing together? Okay, well, the concept is this, is that this power supply, this uh, replacement bolt combined, what they house is essentially a Mantis system. Okay, so again, the gyrometer part that I talked about two seconds ago. A motor system that resets your trigger for you. And then there's also uh, a laser unit that's also built into this. Okay, now, my, me personally, I'm not huge on the laser unit thing uh, while, while practicing, but for some, they want a visual reference, especially in pretend land called uh, dry fire, so that is in here. Now, that laser uh, has full windage and uh, elevation adjustments here uh, that are accessible while they're in the gun. There's also a little switch over here that changes the mode of that laser to constant. And that is usually, or at least in my experience, that's I would turn that on when I'm actually zeroing. And then the sort of default setting or the setting you would switch it to when you go to actually do practice is a based on shot. So when the shot breaks, laser fires, and then it turns off again. That is at its heart what we're doing here, okay? Uh, I'll show you some close-up footage uh, of essentially that, uh, that re reset feature, but it's basically just like this little mechanical button <laughs> uh, or a little mechanical arm. And what it does is it fully resets your trigger. You are using your fully functioning uh, trigger mechanism. So, you know, when you break that shot, sear releases, hammer flies forward, hits that little uh, recess and the button, gets pushed back down, sear resets, a whole, the whole trigger process, right? As it feels naturally shooting uh, either live or racking the bolt in between. So with that extremely long-winded explanation of what the Mantis Blackbeard X is, why it exists, what it does, uh, I'm just gonna quickly throw it in the MCX to show you guys just how brutally easy it is uh, to actually install this. I can't show you the actual install because of yeah, YouTube rules and whatnot, but again, you'll get it, trust me. So here we got uh, the MCX here, laying down on a tech mat, yes. 
I see that it's a AR-15 tech mat and this isn't an AR-15, fight me, whatever. Quite literally all we're doing uh, to install the Blackbeard X is replacing the bolt carrier group and the charging handle uh, with the bolt replacement. The mag can go in where? Uh, the mag well when you're ready. Um, now again, YouTube rules, I can't actually show you the install of this because some reason that's modifying guns <laughs> or whatever against their policy. Instead, through the power of Robo Murray magic, we're just gonna get it done right here with one quick snap. And there we go. Magic, all done. Uh, literally takes two seconds. Seriously, guys, it's not really an install. It's not really an install tutorial. You're literally gonna have zero issues with this. Just take out the bolt carrier group components, including the charging handle, and slide the bolt replacement in there. Now, with the replacement bolts, uh you know, successfully installed uh, into the MCX. I know it was hard. Uh, there's really only one final step and that's to insert the mag. Uh, I said earlier the mag uh, has the power supply in it, right? So there's two metal contacts here at the top of the magazine and there's two opposite contacts on the bolt replacement. So once you insert the mag, it powers the whole system, okay? Now there is an on button on the mag. Uh, that is not required for the trigger reset mechanism. The on button on the magazine is actually turn on the Mantis part of it to connect it to uh, your app. When you turn it on, you'll actually see a little blue light uh, pop on. Just inserting the magazine here, if we listen close, we can hear the system run. That's how you know it's actually providing positive power. Okay, there we go. Uh, magazine's in, system has power. So now presumably, if I were to present and then yes, look down my sights and press off a shot, it actually resets, okay? So that click after that is your normal reset. Uh, but I can press this as many times I want and it is the fully functioning trigger uh, experience. Now again, one extra thing that I had mentioned earlier um, in accordance with the replacement bolt too is that uh, while you can't see it from this view, I'll probably have uh, B-roll that you're watching right now uh, where when I press the trigger, uh, there is an emitted laser, so downrange I can see laser hit my wall. Um, and that is again, just for shot confirmation. I myself, like I'd mentioned earlier, I don't really count on that as a part of uh, my training data, uh, especially as I line it up to the app, which we'll get into in a second. But it is, it's nice to see a visual uh, um, sort of representation of where that shot would have landed, uh, presumably on some target downrange. Um, some people like that. I'm not big on it, but it is built into this. So ultimately, I mean, why should we care, right? Like why, why should we care about using, you know, a device like the Blackbeard X or the Mantis uh, X10 Elite, like on our pistols, that sort of deal. Why, who cares, right? Like I'm pressing shots, Rob. Um, why do I need to buy this extra thing um, to give me, you know, some sort of app access kind of deal? Well. At the end of the day, and I think you guys have heard me say this before in other pieces of footage, probably in passing, right? Like, I'm a big believer on the limitations of the human senses, okay? So, uh, are humans good at noticing things? Sure, <laughs> right? Within the, no the, the right context and the right limitations. Uh, but we all understand, like if I use the example, like bacteria, right? Like, bacteria exists. We can look at them under a microscope, but our eyes can never see them, right? So, at some terminal limit, no matter how attentive we are uh, in the dry fire process, um, without some sort of external metrics, and I mean, you know, mathematical, statistical, scientific, something that, you know, something that can do the job of what we're trying to achieve, but outpaces the human performance aspect of that, uh, I'm always a big advocate. Let me give you an example, okay? Now, again, I'm going to switch back to the pistol here just because it's a really easy item to hold and explain this, and the concept still transfers to rifles, okay? And that is, Let's pretend I didn't have this optic uh, on, on this, this firearm. So I'm just using the irons, right? You know, during uh, dry fire, you know, most people are, what they're trying to achieve, right? Is that perfect, like, hey, front post, equal height, uh, equal light. It doesn't move when I press the trigger. So I'm staring at this front post and I press the shot 
and what I perceive happening to that front post in relation to the to rear sights, right? Like if no movement happens, then I presume what I was aiming at was a 100, 100% successful shot, right? Well, that may be true to some degree. Like depending on your skill, you might be that good, right? Now, is it 100%? I don't know. Now let's go back to the concept. Did the front post move? Like, did you perceive it? Now, if you did perceive movement, by how much? What direction? How much in which directions? At what time, right? These are the things that, you know, especially, like even in a sanitized training scenario, like where, again, I'm just in my quiet home and I'm pressing off dry fire shots, there's a limit to which our eyes and brain can notice. Again, main point, I don't wanna beat this dead horse, especially since I've already literally slaughtered the horse. At the end of the day, there's a limit to which our human senses are not going to be able to pick things up. I mean, this is the story of the human experience, right? Like we can all look up in the sky and see stars, but we'll never be able to see stars like a telescope can. If I'm going to be dry firing, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be concentrating, I'm gonna be pressing those shots, I'm gonna be looking at my fundamentals, I'm gonna be trying to keep awareness of all this stuff. If Mantis can track that for me, to such an nth degree better, yes, I will take it every day. So with all that <laughs> being said, uh, let's talk about the app. Let's talk about uh, some of the benefits uh, of the app and the data that comes out of it, how we use it uh, at WGT and how I use it personally. So guys, just a really quick view of the app here that goes uh, with all the Mantis devices. Obviously, when you first sign in, you uh, would connect your device. I'm just gonna skip that because it's actually off and on the table over there. <laughs> um, but inside the app, what you see is uh, you have a ton of drills, okay? These are the universal ones, these ones down here under drills. So you can use this as Blackbeard, um, like for open training, for example, it has no structure, it's just on your own time. Uh, I can use that for both pistols as well as, uh, as uh, rifle with the Blackbeard X, right? But if you scroll to the top, there's uh, Blackbeard X specific activities as well. So things like uh, the Blackbeard Dynamics uh, drill, there's a whole host of transition drills, right? So, you know, one through five, or like V drills or box drills, that sort of thing. And then there's uh, plate drills, right? So if you're uh, a competitive shooter and you gotta go through those plate racks, um, you can practice that here in dry fire as well. Now. You know, the courses, they're just one aspect of this, right? Like that is what collects the data, obviously. Uh, each one of these th uh, sort of activities as you progress through them, is it's, like I said, tracking all that data uh, historically, right? So you can dive right into all of this. It gives you that feedback, that data. So while you're not at the range, you're not just relying on the human sort of senses component. I'd sort of maybe mention this as well. Uh, the WGT sort of group uh, uses this to practice with one another when we're between training sessions because we don't live near each other, right? So the other aspect to the Mantis app in conjunction with the Blackbeard X. Because you're not having to rack anything, it's introduced for me a new use for the Mantis, and that is dry fire training at speed. I can actually run the gun at speed under dry fire, and because I'm at speed, like I'm not concentrating like super hard on all of those micro pieces that we would in a, in a, in a focused dry fire sec session, I'm still getting all of that data collected and I can see how it actually applies from concentrated dry fire versus say running, again, a drill like a one through five. So, you know, it's your opportunity. Run around your house, use Mantis uh, while you're running around your house to see what you score. Work through your equipment, right? So again, put on your kit if you're a kit person uh, and actually run through uh, the dry fire there, right? Like, hey, night vision boys, do it under night vision, <laughs> right? I think I've, I've got an example of that somewhere here just for shits and gigs. But I mean, yeah, like there's a lot of possibilities because of the auto reset that um, really, I mean, it's, it's, it's giving me a lot of ideas of where I can go with my dry fire. And with those benefits sort of laid on the table, I mean, let's wrap it in a nice little pretty package in terms of benefit. We're talking about an efficiency of use of time. You know, hypothetically, let's just say I've got an hour's time. There's a certain amount of presses that can happen in that time just due to reality. If I have to rack in that same hour, that then obviously presumably means that the time it's taking for me to rack, there's lost presses in there, right? So if I have a static one hour, the automatic trigger reset almost defines that I'm gonna be able to have more trigger presses in that same amount of allotted time. So it's an efficiency deal. The whole thing with having appreciable data that you can see measurable distant, uh, differences in, right? Like again, like a, there's a huge difference between a number of 92 and a number of 98 if you look at the nuance, right? Especially when you consider the fact that uh, it shows you where you're going wrong 
there's a greater chance that you actually are improving in those down weeks between range sessions. And there's a greater chance that uh, I'm willing to bet that each live range day that you have after Mantis sessions, you will actually see uh, a positive result. Now with all the sexy stuff taken care of, uh, right? So the what it is, how does it work? How do I put in my gun? The why, uh, <laughs> all that. We do have to take care of some admin. Uh, now the one question I know you guys do have for me that you want answered right away in the admin stuff is obviously, how much does this cost, Rob? And am I gonna have to sell a limb to afford it, right? Well, this costs 319, or starts at 319 USD, okay, for the Blackbeard X system. Uh, that's AR-15 or MCX. Now, the reason why I said uh, starts at, okay, so there's a couple price increases depending on the type of laser module you want. And I can't remember what those are. They're, they're small bumps in the price, uh, but there's uh, the base one, the 319 has a red laser. You can purchase one that has a green laser. It's the one that I actually have. Uh, and then there's also an option for an IR laser for you uh, spooky boys who wanna do dynamic drills and get all that training data while doing it under night vision in the dark. That one's there for you. Again, cool idea for doing some drills if you're a night vision boy uh, or girl out there. Now, full transparency about this specific unit, okay? So I, I do have a relationship with Mantis, or at least I've known them for quite some time. I was a, uh, an early adopter, okay? I've, I've been an early adopter of this stuff uh, when they first sort of hit the market, and I've just maintained that relationship. Um, I've purchased uh, Mantis modules in the past. This one particularly, they actually did send it out to me as a courtesy. I ended up just running into them at a convention here in Canada um, about a month ago, a month and a half ago. Uh, they had mentioned uh, that they're coming out with an MCX version of the Blackbeard X when we were talking about the Blackbeard X. And Bill was with me, uh, the owner of WGT, uh, and he loves MCXs. We obviously have an MCX in the vault. So as the conversation went on, they actually offered to send me out one. So just full transparency, I didn't actually pay for this one. That doesn't mean that this is an advertisement. Like they didn't, they didn't care how I went about this. They just wanted a, an honest review out of me based on previous things that I've, I've, I've reviewed in the industry, right? Uh, so shill or not, uh, again, my, uh, my comments here are not based on them sending this to me. Uh, I'm a believer in all Mantis products. For your convenience, down below, okay, uh, in the description, I'll, I'll have a link to the, the Blackbeard X. I'll have Mantis's uh, um, main website link in there as well. Uh, it's just mantisx.com. Uh, I don't have any like, you know, promo codes or anything for you. I get no kickback. If you want to buy Mantis stuff, go ahead. Uh, I would think that's a really cool idea just because it's smart. <laughs> uh, I'll have all the links and all that fun stuff down there uh, just for your convenience. Um, other than that, uh, as always, uh, I may not post as much as I uh, used to. It doesn't mean I'm not active though. So like if you drop me a, a comment or a question, I love interacting with you. I'd love to answer a question, love to get into a discussion, uh, whatever have you. If you've been to my other videos, had that ride before, then you know what you'll get. So uh, drop me a, a comment or a question below if you feel necessary. Uh, you can subscribe if you'd like. Definitely not mandatory, would appreciate it, but don't really care. <laughs> um, uh, like the video if you want to, similar thing. If you want the extra behavioral click, uh, it shows me some love, but it's not a mandatory by any means. As always, I just appreciate you guys let me rant a bit. And uh, if you guys find any of the information I put out uh, helpful, that makes it worthwhile for me. So thanks for always stopping by and until next time, I'll see you in a bit.